Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Our opponent prefers a reclining silver strategy. I feel like trying something aggressive today. Let's see how my strategy works. Oh fun, we're doing this. Alright, one of us has gotten to move their Rook Pawn. One of us has not. And that's fine. Um... Hmm. So many ideas to strike. This is a target. I'll have to defend it. I didn't think I would play the duck as anything other than a meme, but here we are. They push the silver. I'm not sure that I'll manage to resist the temptation. Um, the siren suck of siren sound of the duck is calling. Uh, sure, why not? Not a real duck. It's fine. I mean, yeah, I am struggling to gain my bearings here a bit, but I think it's fine. All right. Well, I've blocked. St oh, my goodness. Here we are. Imagine that. Um, See, we're all over the map today, aren't we? Nanafun. Yeah, this position's pretty wild. Um, not sure what to do.
So finally, I use the pawn that I have in hand. And tactics happen. I guess they're aiming to break on this edge. Um, but this work might also need to like either move sideways or retreat here. And then I'm threatening to go back. I'm also threatening to go here. But also there's just a ton of pressure here from my horse that can now dance around the field. Um, interesting. I suppose they have a plan. So I'm, again, threatening to go chase this lance here. Interesting. Well, I have a pawn. Which I don't have an easy way to use. I have ideas. Maybe I'm playing with fire, but that's how we do. So I think I'm offering my rook for these two pieces. Unless I'm offering my bishop, but no, the rook needs to activate somehow. I didn't see a cleaner way to activate it. Maybe a pawn drop could have done the same thing, but I don't think so. Uh, that's unexpected. Alright. I'm still offering the rook, but I have another option now of not offering it. But they could bring the rook over to hit my horse. I missed that. In my greed, I missed that. So yeah, they try to activate the rook. My horse probably has to retreat, and it's really a hot mess. Um... That's a thought. That does gain a tempo. Uh, 
All right. Very well. You've convinced me. Another free thing. And this is dangerous. How many things can I take? I mean, I must take this. But, uh, yeah, this is... what I'm doing is sketchy. I fully expect that they will capture my knight. They're threatening a bishop drop back here. But the bishop drop's most effective if I lose my horse. But my horse is not yet lost. Also, the bishop drop traps the bishop for an instant. And during that instant, I have one tempo to do something. We haven't figured out what the something is yet, but... Um, yeah. Okay. My king could run this way if necessary. Interesting. I've not considered that. Um... Uh, Proverbs say keep the king and the rook apart. I failed at that. Sampun. All right. Well, this might hurt. On the other hand, if I have a knight on the square, I have an attack. Um, Nifun Sanjibio. All right, this knight is imperiled. Oh, as is my horse. I did not estimate how threatening this rook thing could be. Should have estimated that. On the other hand, uh, yeah. I'm not thinking clearly, but now they're threatening to promote the rook over here if I'm reckless. Okay. Well, let's deal with the obvious. This also gives the horse somewhere to retreat to thereby dealing with this rook advance idea. Um, Nifun. Hmm. 
not crazy about this, but I don't know what else to do. Hmm. Running, 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 running. They can drop because I didn't block. Maybe I should have blocked. Two pieces for one is not a terrible deal. Unless they have a bishop fork at the end and then it's really two for two. But yeah, the number of pieces as well as piece values can both be quite important. Don't hang a rook. Don't hang a rook. My mode is self. Don't hang a rook. <laughs> Dropping a rook here would hang it. I'm an idiot. It's fine, I could have taken this. I was so astounded by my opponent's move. So astonished that I didn't see the hanging piece. Uh, that would 30 be Alright.
10秒。Thanks for the game. Yes, I missed mate in one. Gold drop is mate in one. At some point, the timer took over. One down, two to go. Good luck. There's an obvious cheapo here, but yeah, we don't need to go there. <laughs> yeah, why, why checkmate when there are other means of winning? Truly, the questions that we need to ask these days. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, wait. I remember what I was doing. As soon as the king moves, I was going to drop this over here. Uh, but I forgot they could just defend this pawn. Okay, well, this is morning shogi. Morning in more than one sense, uh, but that's okay. Let's see, what can we do now? Hmm. I have a very strong pro rook bias, and I really want to take the rook. Although I do think taking the rook is also the right move here. But man, this horse is pretty nice. No, but I get a monster initiative if I take this, so we're taking it. <laughs> oh yeah, Blitz Chess Culture. That was your uh, larger point. Yeah. In the chess world, we got blood on the clock. It's just a matter of who can shuffle the pieces the fastest, without making some awful blunder. I'm only half joking. Um, alright, so this maybe threatens to do something if I'm generous. What if I just collect the knight? Then what? I guess they're threatening the lance, but this gold is loose. So, what's the next move? Okay, so I take a gold general. You get a lance, I get a knight. Um, my knight is hanging. Sure, let's make things more complicated. All right, so now the bishop's hanging, the horse is trapped, and the knight is hanging. And I have a dragon aligned with their king. Cool. All right, I activate my gold. I activate my pawn. 
Now I have a diagonal that I can use to attack their king directly. Um, hmm. Man, this is something. This is an experience. Okay, let's play this as it might save my ass later. Um, probably not, but it might. If it somehow magically controls a good square. Um, but I think more important... Nanafun. Uh, what to do now? I was debating this pawn drop that looks pretty fun. It doesn't do anything. None of my moves here actually do anything. It's kind of an issue. All right, let's see what the horse does. Probably they're going to take my rook. Uh, so I don't have mate. I'm slowing down my attack. With the understanding that if I fuck everything up, I just drop a gold here. And suddenly I have a Mino castle. Not just half Mino, but full Mino. I missed that they have a lance in hand. I'd intended to bring my rook over. But then I get lanced. But that might not be so bad. Um, actually, I can turn that on. Well, okay. Oh, they could do the same. They could just drop a gold here and have a very strong castle. Maybe I should do something about that. It's not easy to do something about that. Um, all right, well, so I need this. They're going to do this exchange and then, oh god, they didn't. All right. Um, makes my task easier. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I don't have a pawn. Where's my pawn? Gofun. I need a pawn. If... Oh dear. What have I done? All right, this doesn't do jack. It looks nice, but they just dropped something here. And then I could take there, but... Ew. I'm intending to exchange my gold for this silver, in case that helps my attack. Um, instead I have this. And then we repeat this. So now the knight is not defending the king anymore. And then we continue attacking. I have a pawn, finally. Um, back we go. I'm reminded out of a Monty Python skit. Of two fighters. 
and that's a bit sad, isn't it? I should aim to do better. Um, okay. Here comes the cheapo. Can you spot it? Knight promotes, rook takes lance, then they take my gold. Or alternatively, knight takes here. No, knight takes knight. Okay. So, vacate the diagonal. Um. This is so bad. I should do better, but I'm in time pressure, and I want my opponent to think. Why do I have to come up with all the moves? Because I'm winning. But why? I don't have a knight. Why don't I ever have the right pieces? One could say something about forward planning, and that having something to do with my not, never having the right pieces. One would be correct to say that. Um. Sampun. Also, I should stop giving them lances, if I hate lances so much. Nope. Don't give away free pieces. Unless you mean it. Okay, bishop 5-5 five, five next. They're being very careful not to give me a knight. Nifun. They are being extraordinarily careful not to give me a knight. Never mind that I'm getting a knight, but, you know. The point is the effort that went into that. It's the thought that counts. But yeah, they thanks for the game. In this case they could have played more aggressively than they did. I probably was in trouble quite a few times, but I lucked out. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Swinging rook slow game, they say. Let's try this. Swinging rook slow game. Mm -hmm. Well, this, unless, no, this seems to indicate a slow game. Should take some space here.
Oh boy, this could be fun. All right. Their king is not in a castle, so I get to play some fun moves. Um, let's do it. If the king were over one more square, or if the gold had already made it one over, chances are I don't get to play this wild nonsense. Um, now if knight takes, I have a bishop drop. So we're looking at king takes here. The king is going to hold this castle together or not. All right. Um, the rook is blocked. The king doesn't defend this lance. <laughs> now I'm hitting the lance again. Next we bring the rook in. Um, hmm. It would be nice to promote the rook right away. I don't think tactics work out, though. If I push... A lot of stuff is loose, but if I wait, they can drop a bishop and then I never get to push this. Let's push. Okay, so next I'm threatening a lance drop, and then a lance promotion and taking a gold, and then... I mean, maybe I have other attacking what means here too. Um, yeah, very aggressive game on my part. Very unusual. But I noticed they shuffled a lot of pieces and started moving the king. So I knew where the king was going to end up. But they didn't finish moving the king. So... Like, it's not in a castle, so this is, like, a great time for me to attack. One could say the same that, like, look, I've not completed my castle. Why shouldn't they attack me? One would be correct to ask this, I think. Uh, but, you know, actually, I'm ahead on the clock. What am I complaining about? It's entirely my fault if um, I'm ahead on the clock and get a lost position, which would be sad. All right, so I should probably move this silver before I die. But this rook, everything threatening to move is a bit spooky. So I might want to continue attacking. I don't know. I have lots of weaknesses here. I'm concerned that a bishop drop here might end my game. Um, think that's a reasonable defensive move here. I have to play one defensive move this game, I think. I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, now the rook defends the gold indirectly. Um, well? Well, do I drop my lance, or do I just say, you know, this is looking too interesting? Now, if I drop the lance here first, my attack strengthens, but then they have a lance. Um, hmm. yeah, let's not give them a lance. 
7分。My king is so exposed here. I'm going to play another defensive move. I'm going to be a wuss. <laughs> Being a wuss might be profitable here. Um. Very strange. Okay. I don't have any idea what they're doing. All right, I have to remove this attacker and continue solidifying my fort and get my king into it. I'm still threatening lance drops everywhere. Right, so they're trying to corral this, but the thing is I'm willing to sack my horse if I have to. I don't think I have to. Um, I considered briefly going up, but that does uh, permanently. Traps it because they drop their bishop in exchange. So now I can drop the lance and exchange it here and use that to break in, or I could break in on the edge file. Probably breaking in on the edge file makes more sense. But yeah, this gold is twice defended, so whatever shots I had in mind, like sacking various places to deflect this so I could win that, or vice versa, sacking here so I could win this, all those go out the window here. Uh, and I need another window, so to speak. But, thankfully I've got one. This pawn has advanced, so I can just drop a lance here. And there's my window. If they move the gold up, silver drop. If this gold moves somewhere else, maybe I just continue being patient. Maybe I continue trying to defend my king. But then this becomes loose. Maybe I move up this gold at some point. Oh my god. This is trying to promote the pawn so they can drop another pawn here. Um, hmm. Oh, I was about to drop my lance here. And that loses a lance for nothing. Alright. Good point, sir. Um, this looks like a good file for a lance. What say you? All right. Yeah, I kind of had to do it. Oh, three pawns for a lance Go is the exchange rate, isn't it? Three pawns for a lance, they say. I didn't see that they had three pawns, but... Well, now I've got... Three pawns. Um, hmm. All right, but I get a knight out of this deal, too. the Monty Python sketch all over again, unfortunately. The two pawns rule, Nifu, allows for all kinds of fantastic combinations, um, or fantastical. 
But yeah, here my opponent... Well, I guess they could drop a lance behind my pawn. The combination hasn't ended yet. Uh, but they have a lance and a bishop in hand, and I don't see how either can be used to fantastic effect. Maybe some combination of both of them is what I overlooked, but I just don't see it. If I move the gold away, they might have a bishop drop here and bishop promotion there, so I might have to move the gold. If they drop a lance, I might have to do gold here to avoid tactical shots. And if I were really super concerned about tactics, maybe the pawn is not the right piece to have dropped in this situation. Like, a silver could have also sufficed, but it's really heavy. And a pawn tends to be pretty light, but I could have dropped a pawn up here instead of down here. Or I could have moved the rook over to hit the knight, but then, like, they drop a lance or somehow they defend it. Alright, my rook's attacked. Let's deal with that in the clearest way. Uh-huh. Hmm. How confident am I that I have a mate? Not confident. All right, let's not do that then. Let's do this. I was considering some fun tactics with this knight jump and a silver drop and trying to keep an attack, but it just doesn't stay. The attack is not enduring if I were to try something nuts. My rook is still hanging. Obviously, well, if I had taken this, they drop a bishop and I lose my rook. Um, or my gold. So I'm not going there. Um, I might move the rook down next to try to defend. No, that doesn't help. Really, it's time for me to attack. So I'm threatening to move the knight out of harm's way. And that hits the loose pawn, which they'll probably defend with the gold. And then it falls to me to find some clever attacking idea. Which might just be take the pawn. <laughs> um, no. Then they have this fork again. I don't know. I need an idea. We'll find it. Multiple knights should give me some attacking chances somewhere. All right, what's our next proverb? Because Strange Game, unfortunately, is not a proverb. A pawn is worth a thousand golds. Well, good, because I'm getting a pawn. A thousand golds, they say. <laughs> All right. That does attack. What's the idea, though? 
All right, we'll take the pawn. It's worth a thousand golds. I think they're assuming something different than... For a second there, I was thinking, well, either of these two bishop drops and I have some problems to deal with, but the problems can be easily dealt with. So... Yeah. Here I am, taking all the pieces. Alright. My rook is safe. Okay, they did get to promote their knight. Hooray. Who would have imagined it? The knight is now promoted. Um... All right, that's three games. We've survived. Anything can happen in time pressure. We don't... Everybody tries to win, never surrender, etc. Uh, but yeah, crazy stuff happens in Blitz. Uh, particularly when I'm playing weird things, too. So, hopefully we enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.